I'm Preston Spratt with Sprattronics Learning Lab, and today's the first Tuesday in November, which means it's election day. And voting is an important right and responsibility. It gives us a voice for issues both big and small. We're going to do a challenge today where we're gonna use either a Spike Essential Kit or a Spike Prime Kit, and we're gonna be building a voting machine. What would you vote on as a class or a family? Maybe it'd be your favorite pizza toppings. Maybe it would be where to go on a field trip or a family vacation. Or possibly, what are we gonna name the new class fish? In this engineering task, your task is to develop a model that can track votes and display the voting data. When we do the engineering design process, we need to identify or divine our problem. We need to generate ideas. We need to make changes to our idea or our model in something called refinements. And then we need to test it out, see if it works and make it better. Right here, I've got a design that I created and I use the color sensor to count the votes. We need to code this though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to spike.legoeducation.com. From there, we'll click on either Spike Essential or Spike Prime, depending on the kit we're using, and then we'll click on New Project. I'm going to use Word Blocks for today's challenge. If you want help using Icon Blocks or you want to complete this challenge using the Icon Blocks, we have two great lessons that you can follow. And those two great lessons are called The Fast Lane and Place Your Order. In one of those other videos, I explain how you can use the color sensor to count objects of different colors. Let's dive in. I'm gonna name this project, Let's Vote. And I hit Create. I like to always do my coding while connected to the hub. And remember, the hub is the brains of your robot. Let's click on Connect. It's that little yellow circle at the top. And I know it says press and hold to turn on your hub, but I like to open the screen first. Then I press the button one time, my light starts to flash, and my hub appears. I click on pair, and I know I'm connected because I have the check mark up front, and it shows my color sensor right here. I picked out four different colors that have these smooth sides to them, and these colors are gonna count as our votes. I can test this out and hold the color in front of my color sensor, and I see that it'll show me what color it sees. So this one sees yellow. I can hold green in front of it. I can hold red in front of it. And I can also hold the light blue in front of it. I built a ramp in my machine so that I can just drop my votes down. They'll slide down and the machine will see them. Let's start coding this. I'm gonna use the power button light on the front of my hub to let people know that the voting is ready to happen. When my program starts, I want my light to change colors so people see it's booting up and is ready to go. So I'm gonna set my power light to red first, then I'm gonna have it wait one second, and then I want it to change to yellow that way people know something is happening. And maybe instead of yellow, I'll do orange, since we're not counting orange votes. I'm going to wait another second. And then finally, my light is gonna turn green, letting people know it's ready to start taking votes. I want to count three, no, four different colors for my votes. So I'm doing a pizza topping vote, and my choices are red for pepperoni, blue for cheese, yellow for mushrooms, and green for olives. So we're going to set four different events. All of them are gonna start with when the color is. So I can drag all four of these out, and now I'm gonna change them to match up each of the voting tablets that I have. So one is yellow, one is red, 
one is light blue, and one is green. And I want, when the vote changes, I want to put in there, I want to change the color of the light so that people can see that their vote was counted. So I'll set power button light to red whenever the color sensor sees red. I'm gonna change it to yellow. I'm gonna set power button to light blue when a blue vote goes through. And then green when a green vote goes through. Now, I mentioned earlier, I think I'm running into an issue where my color sensor is seeing green far too often as a reflection. But let's test it out. We'll push play. I see that my hub goes red, then orange, then green. And now I can drop my vote in and the color changed to yellow. I'll drop a green vote in and the vote changes to green. We'll drop a blue vote in, changes to blue, and we'll drop a red vote in and it changes to red. So all four of my colors worked correctly. But we're still missing part of the challenge. This machine is not counting our votes. It's not showing us which votes are in the lead. We need to add the bar graph blocks to this. Down here in the bottom left corner, we'll click on show block extensions. And we're gonna go down here to bar graph. I click the check mark and then the X. And now I have a new set of code blocks called bar graph. Let's tell it whenever we start, when that light turns red, we're gonna clear the bar graph. That way our settings are always back to all zeros when we start the program. Now we're going to tell it to change the bar graph value by one. And since this is going under the yellow voting, we'll change it to yellow. Change bar value by one, we'll change that one to red. Change color bar value by one, we'll change that to light blue. And then finally, the green one at the end. Change it to green. We now have a way to count our votes and display the results. Let's start adding, let's start testing our votes. So I press stop to start over. I'll push play. My lights go through the different sections and I see I have a bar graph that shows up down here now. Let's add a green vote. Oh, it got stuck in the path. Need to drop it in sideways. It flies through, and I see that the green went up by one. Now let's try light blue. That went up by one. Let's try red. And our red went up by one. And finally, we can try, I guess, green. slide green through there and it seems like it's thinking that green is counting as a yellow vote as well so maybe having all these backgrounds around my vote counter are gonna cause a problem but I'm seeing an issue our hub still tells people what vote happened last time so I want to go through and add a weight block to all four stacks of the color sensor and then I want the color to change on the power button to let people know it's time to vote again. So we'll change that light to that light green color. That means they can vote. Now if I right click on this block, I can duplicate it. And I'm gonna add this block to the end of every one. So it's gonna show our person that they voted and what color they voted for. So red slides through and it turns red. And then it turns back to green to let the next person know it's ready for them to vote. Light blue. And that time, that wait might not be long enough. Let's change it to two seconds. Push play. We'll reset our votes. It's green, so it's ready to vote. I slide it through, shows blue then goes back to green, showing it's ready for our next vote. I can't wait to see what type of voting machine you come up with and what votes you're tracking with your 
Lego Spike voting machine. Have a great day.